member of this free collection. What is member of this free collection? Member of this free collection is without reference. is knowing. What is the difference between knowing and recognition? If I would prefer to say it is recognition, what kind of recognition is this that is equivalent to knowing? There is just a slight difference. One that which recognizes refers to an object of recognition. One which is knowing does not refer. There is no object of recognition. However, both in both cases. There is no reference point to a future or a past. So recognition is, although it refers to an object, is between recognition and knowing. And in knowing, there is absolute unification. So the word fails to describe it. The word knowing even is redundant. But we know that. That is understandable to logic. So what is memorialist recollection? How would we be able to describe it? somehow in speech. Are we not already doing that? To which world do we need to traverse? that would validate such knowing. How relevant is this knowing then when it's attached to the world? There will always be some kind of speech fit for that world. And where does that knowing come from? The language of the world, fit for the beings of the world. May that be by speech, by words, or by different types of senses. So what is memoryless recollection? If not, it's ours, a valid code, code for all worlds, for all speech, for all beings, for that world that describes it as all. Where is this recognition? Recognition between knowing and its initialized point, which is recognition. Where does that come from? Where is it situated? Can I say it is the heart? Which is not different than the recognition. Heart not an external definition, but that recognition that has made the very word, the heart. 
can I say, that's why I thus, I may perceive a woman, I, not outside or, or inside, but the very moment, and the heart, and the word, recognition, and its unification to the all-knowing. What kind of moment is this between recognition and the knowing? Can I even say that there is one? Or is it just for the pleasure of producing words? Can I say there is none? Light and light. Casting light. As a result of the movement of such recognition. Which is inside. Or better words, which is within. From where these words are also produced, from where this image and posture is also produced. Not as a cause. There is no time. Not a function of time. It's pauselessly ongoing. Meaning the same pauses ongoing. Yet of course, ongoing is a word that suggests time. So there we stumble. Or yes, I, that many of us also do. Even the best language speaker will be restricted by word, the language, culture that produces it. Perhaps we should be wordless. But we are not this time in a wandering. It perhaps is we are knowing. Without objects. We are inhaling. Without object of inhalation. And we are full of gratitude, having the object of inhalation. To be able to produce its poetry that sometimes shapes in this world always telling one and the same thing, always the same sound. The inspiration of the inspiration is recognition. And that comes from all knowing. there is no achievement between recognition and knowing. It is the rhythm. Of a beginningless. I like to use the word dance of the beginningless dance. But words are containers, variables. Temporary, but inserted in the word by using the word is the essence which is changeless.
it can therefore be revisited, revisited. being the memory of the universe, not referring to spoken speech and its apparent movements and manifestations, which relate to a narrative, which is always temporary, made of supreme elements and senses, and so on. In reality, there are qualities that which one is also made by, yet that which can be revisited. It's very much like a memory of the computer. A point of Initialization, initialized point. A potential for manifestation. Once there is no duality as the observer. So whatever enters in is, I say as a gesture, comes in, enters in to the potential world of that light. Is that light, that type of movement, is a non-causal movement. It's due to the knowingness of all. What is memoryless recollection? Memoryless recollection is without reference. is knowing. What is the difference between knowing and recognition? If I would prefer to say it is recognition, what kind of recognition is this that is equivalent to knowing? There is just a slight difference. One that which recognizes refers to an object of recognition. One which is knowing does not refer. There is no object of recognition. However, both in both cases. There is no reference point to a future or a past. So recognition is, although it refers to an object, It is 
between recognition and knowing. And in knowing, there is absolute unification. So the word fails to describe it. The word knowing even is redundant. But we know that. That is understandable, the logic. So what is memoryless record recollection? How would we be able to describe it? Somehow, in speech. Are we not already doing that? To which road do we need to traverse? That would validate such knowing. How prevalent is this knowing then when it's attached to a world? There will always be some kind of speech. Fit for that world. And where does that knowing come from? The language of the world. Fit for the beings of the world. May that be by speech, by words, or by different types of senses. So what is memoryless recollection? If not, its source 